My name is Richard Laven. I'm with Production Animal Health Department at Massey University in New Zealand. Grass is a good environment for dairy cows and should, could form part of most farm management programs. But you need to be aware that although a lot of problems are reduced to grass, you need to monitor and ensure that grass and your system for getting the cows from grass to the milking parlor is under control and well managed. Cows at pasture tend to have less lameness. It's one of the significant advantages of including pasture in your management system. But if it's not management well, particularly the yards and the tracks, you can end up with problems of lameness. In New Zealand, the average peak prevalence of lameness is only around 8%. But on some farms, 30% of lame cows, sorry, 30% of cows are lame um, at, at one time. So you can see that there are significant differences between le levels of lameness, and the same thing can happen in the UK. We've got good UK data that shows that white line disease, which is the most common cause of lameness seen in New Zealand, and is strongly associated with cows at pasture, peaks at the end of the grazing period. So what's happening is that the damage to the hoof is building up during the grazing period, and then once the cows are housed, we then see clinical lameness. This means that monitoring and detection of lameness is essential during the summer grazing period, just like it is during the winter housing period. When you, when you are taking cows from the field to the parlor, walking to the shed as it's known in New Zealand, there would seem to be a big opportunity for lameness observation. But this isn't the case, particularly in larger herds, over 100 cows, lame cows can easily be missed, even very lame ones, because those cows try to keep in the normal milking position and in the walking order so they don't suddenly appear at the back. So although it's a, it's a valuable time to look for lame cows and you may pick up some, it's not the only way that you should be detecting lameness while your cows are at grass. There's no point scoring cows at grass. Under soft foot conditions, cows are very able to stop showing lameness even when they are really quite lame. You need a flat, ideally a concrete surface to watch cows moving along to do your mobility scoring. A good area of track near to the shed will do. However, if the cows are walking along a stony area when they're coming out of the parlor, then it's important to ensure that, the, though, that you're not looking at mobility scoring at that point in time. You need to get a clear air where the cows can walk smoothly and normally and not exaggerate any lameness that might be present. So what you need to do is to locomotion score, mobility score during milking, which means that you're going to have to have some extra person there looking at the cows. If you're going to monitor, you can do some at the beginning of milking, some in the middle of milking, and some at the end, and that will give you a reasonable figure of how many lame cows you've got. But if you want to identify the cows that are, are lame, you'll need to do the whole of the, of the cows as they come out of the milking shed. So once you've identified your lame cows, what should you do? The major thing in, in New Zealand in terms of managing lame cows is, is minimizing walking. So what they do is they, they put them on once a day milking and they keep them in fields near the parlor. That means that those cows are not having to walk long distances to be milked twice a day and they're not competing with other cows for feed. They're in a smaller group that they feel much more comfortable in, they've got more feed in front of them, and you can manage them better in that, in that group. Now obviously if you milk them once a day, the milk production drops, but this is more than compensated for by the significant improvement in lameness. That doesn't mean to say that because you can put your cows out on a, on a field near the, near, the, near the parlor that you don't need to pick the foot up and do treatment. What you need to do is combine early treatment with keeping them near to the milking parlor.